hot wings and horror. Yes, my eyeball. Yeah, so instantly. Hi, everybody. First, I'll have her close her eye and just cover her eyelid with basic scotch tape. Not just to protect her eye from the oncoming latex, but to give me a surface I can work with later. From that point, I'm going to measure out my bottom eyelid and cover that with plenty of latex. And when I say plenty of latex, I mean plenty of latex. It's going to be a whole rubber piece later, so this cotton will work its way out as I blend it into her skin, pressing down firmly on the edges. Wanna press down as nice as you can so that when we go back to blend it in with latex, it's already pressed down in the skin as much as possible. Now remember to do this latex edging as thin as possible with each coat. That way you can build up a skin instead of just glumping it on. And then we can start building up our bottom lid with latex. And go ahead and black out that top eyelid since it will be behind our fake eyelid. We don't want anybody to catch a glimpse of skin. And applying foundation to make it closer to her skin tone. And we can start applying a latex skin over what would be the top of her eyelid. Yes, get that fully covered. Now let's press the eyeball itself into place, or I should say the optic nerve. Hold that for me, Cece, while I use the hair dryer to speed up this drying process. I'll continue drying in between each layer as I build up the side of that optical nerve. And once she lets go, it's nice and tight into place. This now gives me the opportunity to start building up the other side. While I build up that side, I'm getting it underneath that optic nerve so that I'm connecting all the latex together as one. Back to some below drying. There's Cece's little sister shooting some video for us. So I'm going to start working on this bruising. And as I do my bruises, I like to work from dark to light. So I'll start with a darker red, get into a purple, and then some yellow to top it off with and blend it in with my finger. Now I can start working up that top eyelid, first measuring it out, covering it with latex. And I'm also going to put more latex back on the first layer that I did, just to make sure the adhesion is strong and everything sticks together properly. As I did before, I'll cover that entire piece of cotton with liquid latex to build up that skin. And then blend it in with my fingertips to smooth it all out. Press it against her skin and get those edges as thin as possible. Another coat of foundation. I'm going to start blending out those edges a little more with the foundation itself. And then I can start some bruising techniques on top of the foundation. Again, dark to light. Dark red, dark purple, yellow. You can put some blues in there. You can work out your own bruising techniques. That's a bruising technique I usually stick with. go back in that makeup start edging it out with my fingertips so here's what we have so far and CC can model that beautifully I still want to get in there and start adding some blood but first I'm gonna put down a little bit of hair for this eyelid we're gonna get in there and make it a little bit more realistic filling in with blood this 3d gel blood I use is pretty thick won't drip unless I make it drip I have to add on layers of it just to get it dripping but it stays in place all night has a beautiful shine to it from there I'm gonna stemple over the makeup area with some blood we're gonna just blend all that makeup and some of the blood effect in there together still we're gonna have 3d gel hey yo CC need this eyeball out my way please if you can pucker up alright giving me room to work underneath that eyelid so that the whole eye itself gets nice and puffed up. 
Go ahead and throw on some powder just to set all that in there. Get a nice little smile for y'all. And I'm going to make it a little more gross here by adding on some more of that blood gel. Make it look like it's a freshly popped out eyeball. Get in there and cover up all those little details I may have missed, uh, especially on the skin of the optic nerve. And there you have it. We are good to go. Always a blast when you have me over at Eight Nest. I appreciate it, man.